Being quarantined and doing this whole social distancing thing isn't exactly like the most fun in the world. But here's two ways to put some money in your pocket. What's up guys, Steve Bizogany, Philly's real estate agent. Today, we've got a topic, since we're all stuck at home, you know, bars are closed, schools are closed, restaurants are a no-go. So basically, what can we do to put some money in our pocket and make, you know, productive use of our time here? So basically what I'm gonna talk, go over real quick, is the fact that we can actually improve the value of your home while you're at home. And, you know, and at the same time, limit your exposure to the outside world while we're doing this whole social distancing thing. So uh, let's get right into those. The first thing we're gonna go over is spring cleaning. So Basically, you want to clean out all of the clutter and the trash. You don't want to have all this, you know, this is a great time. You're at home. Let's get rid of some stuff. Anything that you that's not essential, uh, let's just pick it up. If you haven't touched it in a year or more, then throw it out. You probably don't need it. If you're not touching it for over a year, I mean, you obviously don't have a, a lot of need for it. So uh, get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, I, I mean, I've thrown out a lot of doodads, weird Trotskys and other things, stupid decorations that I never use. Um, and then goes and then go into like the normal stuff like sweeping floors, wiping down windows and mirrors, um, you know, your cabinet doors, make sure that, the, you know, the cabinet doors that you could wipe those down, like make your cabinets look awesome again, like, you know, enjoy your own kitchen, you know, you walk into a kitchen that you actually like to be into. Um, and then also uh, patch up all the holes and little dents and stuff in your walls and then repaint them. That's a really great way to just improve the value of your house. If you're at home, you got nothing else going on unless you're just going to like Netflix and chill forever. But like that does get old after a while. So might as well put some value in your home and put some money in your pocket, right? So anyway, let's move on to the second thing. And that's to spruce up the exterior. So for me, I've actually personally, I've done the garden boxes. I cleaned those up, made, made sure all the dirt's nice and level. I power washed my patio. I repainted my railings, um, a bunch of other stuff outside. I've made sure all the grass is looking nice, things like that. Also move to your front door, to the front of the house. Uh, make sure the front door looks good. May give it a fresh coat of paint. Make sure that the, the doorknob works. I mean, guys, this is so annoying. Don't give me the this doorknob that, you know, it's well it's a little bit tricky or any whatever like no make sure the doorknob works the key works it turns nice and smooth and it's easy that's that adds a ton of value nobody wants a tricky door it's so annoying the most frustrating thing in the world and then finally if you're outside then do the hedges if you have hedges and you're one of the philadelphians who has hedges have those cleaned up and then get rid of any other old flower pots and you know, yard ornaments or anything that, you know, any of those things that have quote unquote seen better days. So uh, hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of that stuff. Uh, since we're all at home, uh, you know, we'll have plenty of time to do this stuff. So might as well put ourselves to good use. So hope you guys got a lot of value out of that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and you have questions about buying a home, selling a home, or just Philadelphia real estate in general, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out with any questions you have.